Hey guys, here I've got a 91 GMC Sierra and it's got the 350 5.7 liter V8 and I've got a check engine light that comes on this truck. So if you want to see how to scan a check engine light on an OBD1 system, stay tuned and I'll show you. And the truck, what it's doing is it, it runs a little bit rough, especially when you turn the AC on, the idle drops really low and sometimes the truck just shuts off. So anyway, right now the check engine light's off, but it was just on a few minutes ago, it comes on and off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how to check a check engine light if you've got one of these trucks that has an OBD1 system, because as you know, this is not an OBD2, so you can't just plug in your ordinary scan tool and get codes off of it. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly what you need to do here. So first things first, you're gonna to wanna to come down to the OBD1 service port, which is right down here. So here's the port right here. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but they're actually labeled with letters each pan. So you have A, B, C, D, E, F, and so on. So what you wanna do is, I guess you guys can see that on the upper right um, is letter A, and then to the left of that is B, and it goes on from there. So what you wanna do is you wanna turn the ignition on, but do not start the vehicle, and then take a paper clip and jumper pins number A and B together. So when you have the ignition on, and you jumper leads A and B on the OBD1 terminal, what happens is the service engine light soon, it starts flashing a code. So the light will flash rapidly in a row a series of times. So for example, it might flash um, three times in a row quickly, like one, two, three, and that would correspond to number three. Then it'll take a pause and then it'll begin to flash again. Let's say it does it four times, one, two, three, four. So, and then it'll pause again. And so then the code would be code number 34. So then you would have to look up the code and see what it means and all that. So each code that's present in the system, it'll flash three times. So it'll flash the same code three times and then it'll move on to the next code. On these trucks, code 12 will always be flashed three times no matter what. So you pretty much ignore that. So you wait for code 12 to flash three times. After code 12 um, happens, then it'll go on to whatever other code is stored in the system, which is what you're gonna wanna pay attention to. So this is basically how you're gonna wanna to do it. So take the paper clip and jumper terminals A and B together like this. So let's go up top and see how it looks. Okay, so I'm about to put the paper clip in, so let's see what it does. Flash, and then a slow, and then two fast flashes, so that's a code 12. So it's a number one. Number two, so that's code 12. One, two, that's code 12. So it's gonna flash code 12 three times. I just did four fast flashes, so that's four, two. So here is a list of the codes, and I will post these in the description so you guys can reference them. But here's just a quick little list here, and then it continues on this page right here. So in this case, I'm throwing a code 42, which is a EST circuit fault, which is the electronic spark timing circuit fault. So whatever issue is causing the truck to stall out and die, especially under a load, it's probably something to do with this, probably something to do with the spark, with the distributor, with the ignition control module or something like that. So that'll give me a direction to look. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching and I hope you found the video helpful.